Hello everyone, Ellie here. Let's continue on this with the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World. This is the Colossus of Rhodes, and we're going to try and pronounce it in these different names. There's a statue of the god Helios erected in the city of Rhodes and the Greek island of the same name by Charles of Lindos in 280 BC. One of the seven wonders of the ancient world, it was constructed to celebrate Rhodes' victory over the ruler of Cyprus, Antagonist Monopolis, who is the son of, of Philip and Amelia, was Macedonian nobleman, general, star trapping king. During the first half of his life, he served under Philip II after Philip's death in 336 BC. He served his son Alexandria, and he was a major figure in the wars of the, the Dochi and the Alexand after Alexandria. Death. His son Demetrius of Macedonian unsuccessfully besieged Rhodes in 305 BC. According to most contemporary descriptions, the Colossus stood approximately 7 cubits or 33. There's that number again. 108 feet in height, the approximate height of the modern Statue of Liberty, from feet to crown, making it the tallest statue of the ancient world. Collapsed during the earthquake of 226 BC. Although parts of it were preserved in accordance with certain oracle, the Hedons did not rebuild it again. John Marlis wrote that the Hadron had redes resigned, reacted the Hadron in his reign reacted the Colossus, but he was wrong. Since 2008, a series of yet unrealized proposals to build a new Colossus at the Rose Harbour have been announced, although the actual location of the original monument remains in dispute. In the late 4th century BC, Rhodes, allied with Ptolemy of Egypt, prevented a mass invasion staged by their common enemy, Antiguus Monathrapus, I apologise for saying this wrong. In 304 BC, a relief force of ships sent by Ptolemy arrived, and Demetrius, son of Antagonus, and his army abandoned the siege, leaving behind most of their siege equipment to celebrate their victory. The Rhodians sold the equipment left behind for 300 talents and decided to use the money to build a colossal statue for their patron god Helios. Construction was left to the direction of Charles, a naive of London's Rhodes, who had been involved with much large sta scale statues before. His teacher, the sculptor of Lipinos, had construction, uh, constructed a 22 metre high, 72 foot bronze statue of Zeus at Tariton. So that looks like a star four again. So we'll have a look into this one too. This is a brief history of the, what the city they just mentioned. It was founded in 706 BC by Dorian Greek immigrants hailing from Sparta. Its origin are particular. The founders were Parthenon, sons of virgins, sons of the married Spartan woman. Free men, but not citizens of Spa. Sparta, those out of wedlock unions, were permitted extraordinarily by the Spartans to increase the prospective number of soldiers. Only the citizens of Sparta could become soldiers during the bloody Messenian Wars, but later they were re retractively nullified and the sons were then obliged to leave Greece forever. Pathlians and the Pathlian leader went to Delphi to construct the oracle. The puzzling answer designated a harbour of Tarantino as the new home of the exiles. They arrived in Apula and founded the city, naming it Taras after the son of the Greek sea god Poisonin. Poisonin of the local myth. According to another source, Hercules founded the city. Another tradition indicates the Taras as the founder of the city. The symbol of the Greek city as well as the London city detects the legend of Taras being savaged from a shipwreck by riding a dolphin that was sent to him by poison. Tartano, Tartano increases its power, becoming commercial power and the sovereign city of Magna Garcia, ruling over the Greek colon colonies in southern Italy. Its independence and power come to an end as the Romans expanded throughout Italy. Tartano won its, the first of its two wars against Rome for the control of southern Italy. It was helped by the Parans. The king of Ephraim surprised Rome with the use of war elephants in battle, a thing never seen before by the Romans. Rome won the Second War in 272 BC, 
subsequently cut off territory from the center of Mediterranean trade by connecting her via Appel directly to the port of Bosbansum. So this is a temple for a legacy of its. I'll show you briefly here. You can pause and have a read. I will actually go back and do this because this looks like a place where a citadel would have been built. The town of Sito Vercisa, I can't say it, I apologise, is where the Greeks built their Acropolis. Today it retains on the same street level layout of 967 where the Bensonese under, I can't say that, um, the troops, they raised it to the ground in 927 AD. There are four main arteries of the, so I'll show you some photos quickly. Here is some of the alleys of the old town. Now look at this big old beautiful building. Isn't it? Look at all the antiquity. Absolutely gorgeous building. The windows down here too. Look at this. Oh wow, it's got the spit out bridge. The harbour was a navy harbour. There were no their arts and craftsmanship. So the Doric columns from the Temple of Poison in Tartano, a legacy of its Greek origins. It would have been beautiful to see that in its day. Bring out the little sea. Got an aerial shot, so it was supposed to be here, if I'm correct. Correct me on the wrong in the comments. So I'll jump on Google Earth and show you quickly, and we'll have a zoom in, and then we'll go back to the actual commenting. So this is the base in 1930s. So this is what's leading me in with the seven wonders of the world. Each of these has star foots really close to them. So I, I thought I might lead into this. So here we go again. We've got this antenna here again. It's, it's just like this antenna. Like that. Oh, yeah. Beautiful design. So I will do a video on this for you. Oops. Beautiful design. So we'll go back to the original story of uh, the Colossus. They call it a, a castle, but I'm more inclined to call it a, a star fort. It most likely would have tunnels underneath seems to be very closed off and protected in each direction. It's got a barrier there at the front of the ocean as well. Lovely old ship there. Thank you. So yeah, they've got a bit of a rock barrier. These gardens are lovely. Just wanted to show you. So I mean, all these places seem to have a star fort connected near them or they're laid out they'll, like here you can circle pattern in this so can the uh, layout and design of this area here would have to be a prison right <laughs> responds in the comments if you agree i just think that happens to be a prison by its design it looks similar to australian prisons so when I look around on maps, especially when I see areas that have been blocked out temporarily and I'm going to take photos for the years, I seem to notice sometimes you'll see a structure like this and this almost looks like, you know, defence wall. You know, like you got more of a def defence wall here, another one here. You come out and it's blocking the rest. But down here, you zoom in and you see sort of like a defensive wall here see that you can see that with the shadows of the trees that that's built up higher see what I mean so if we move forward 
Okay, the next bit's sort of moved. Does this go in underground? Is this an old fort, this area? And if you look along here, how it's been concreted. You can see that. I wish I could zoom in better. You look over here, it looks like a concrete roof structure, tower thing. Go through the next year. So you can see it's been erased. There's raised ground there. There. Look at a big mound, look at a big mound there. Is this an old fort that they've been covering up? Goes. Yeah. Could this be the boss? To me it looks like a, a fort, a defensive structure. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it's got the fence all the way around it. Looks to be an old sort of fort, the way it's built. It's got the design of an old fort, the way the fences are. It's probably a bunker there. And there, hatch for the bunker. But these are mounds. And you can see it, see, it sort of see a star shape. So I think it's interesting when I come across things like this. I mean, this fence is up through here, up there, there, and the tower there. Two towers. Seems to be a radio tower there. See the shadow. So it's interesting when you look into these places and you see fort designs and then you look around a bit more. There's an aeroplane there, parked in the bushes, tiny. But it's gone. So it would have been a fort that's still in use by the look of it. I wish I could go back further with the photos. And this is the town next to the one that I was just talking to you about. So, so I say I like to have a look around on the, the maps and sometimes you'll come across really old forts and they are so beautiful, it's just amazing. One here seems to be a base, a, a, a fort, a star fort. This is what I mean, it's so interesting when you start looking into these wonders of the world and you see what, what capacity they have military wise and we know there's tunnels there they moved a lot of the stolen stuff and the artillery through the tunnels so quite clearly we've got a star fort right here quite clearly you can see it's still being in use it's occupied it's still in use i can't go back any further with the dates i'd love to go back further with the dates You can see how there's a tower there, there's a tower there, you can see the shadow, this has been built up. Another tower here. Tower there. Tower there. Tower there. And each corner, middle, we've got a tower. I think this might be sort of part of the would have been for the soldiers, it looks very old. Walls as well, part defensive. So it probably would have been soldiers' housing. This is what I mean, the, the, the star forts and the citadels will take you so far when you're looking into them. So there's one right there, I wasn't even looking for it. And Okay, so we've got another one here that's just a little bit from the one I was just looking at and you can definitely tell this is an old fort built up. The corners have guard posts, guard posts there. This is probably another tower of protection. Guard tower, guard tower, guard tower. And it's been dug out. Obviously that's another way to bring boats in. So I'm thinking the whole area would have tunnels that are interconnecting because that's so close. As I was saying before my microphone cut out again, this would all be connected by tunnels, the whole area. That's why there's been no building or development on this area. I'd say it'd be an important place. And it's very interesting just to be really interested in. What I found here is really interesting. These look like circles to me. I'm not even going to say the word because my microphone will stop working, but... I think if you put two and two together, we could probably work out what these 
circles are and, and this looks like another base that looks like it's fenced all the way around very old well protected part of it I dare say the whole area this here looks like an old fort as well and look at the shapings of it looks like it's been built up Especially this here, look at this, the shape of this. So I will look in to see what these places are named. I know they name a lot of them. It's all freely available on the internet. So if we have a look at the shapes here, what have we got? Stars in there. The whole place is secure. The naval yard. Definitely been an old fort. As you look here at the way these are and the way the other bits have been built up. I'm getting distracted again, sorry. But it all it's all around the same area. This is all around the same area. And the other thing I've noticed is there's always a lot of running tracks near most of these places. Why are there so many running tracks? Why do you need so many run And I don't mean like one or two. I mean, you look at most places and you'll see probably five, six, seven of them. There's always several, it's not just one or two. So it's just very interesting. I thought I would show you this. It's part of um, the, what I was reading into is of the seven wonder of the, the world. I hate it when they pop up like that. I must turn those notifications. So this place looks beautiful. I'd love to visit these places. These old buildings. This looks like one of the old towns here. Looks like some artillery there. Must have been. I don't know what that is. Leave a, leave a remark in the comments, please. Of course, on fur looking around, zooming in and out, I have found this place which looks to be a fort as well. Boat there, been built up, you can see it's built up, it looks like a 20 foot height. Being concreted over the top. Sort of like a tower there, or guns there. We've had other things there, and tides coming in. Yet again we have more aerials on the they've always had, you know, uh, like your ham radio. And these, all these places have jetties that go out to the ocean. And these, in the lighthouse there, these, yeah, these all have jetties. They might be very old places, but they have jetties. So, this is interesting, you know, like on the Seven Wonders of the World, I did not expect to find places like, beauties like this for so again, before my microphone cut out, I think it's amazing place as well, looking into the seven wonders of the ancient world. And I'm going to continue this because I wasn't even expecting this. I've looked in this area for these and I hadn't noticed them before. So it's really exciting. This probably would have connected up at one stage and had something here. Yeah, it was a fort, so it's got to it's sort of, you know, like the retracted in the tower. Right here. 
And that was the one we just looked at. And that exactly sure where it was. Perhaps um, one of my subscribers. He's a Greek. Um, Elon, maybe you could. Not sure exactly where it was, but it's somewhere here in this area. So there was a star foot here, here. I'm gonna mark them quickly. Hang on. Can you explain to me what this is? I'm really confused. Yeah. Leave a. Oh, let me know, please. So answer me. Why is there a running track, basketball court, all that kind of stuff there, when <laughs> they have land? And like that's not the only one. There's one there. There's one there. And there's all this land. There's another one here, out here. So why is all these stadiums? There's like heaps. One, two, three. All certain distance so close to each other. Why? Can anyone answer that? And it's not the only place I've noticed to actually have this. So, I just wasn't sure I want to ask this, so someone please tell me why. I just can't work it out. But also, I notice these st strange shapes again, and you know what I'm talking about. You know, the circle shapes. But yeah, why jokes? So, especially why is there one on the water bill like that? And are they using it as a running track? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Ah, oh, I didn't even know we got a star fort. Well, it's down here. And this is what I mean. I'm finding star forts. I find a lot of these ones I've looked online on Wikipedia and there's nothing there. So I have no idea what the names of these are. As I said, they're not on Wikipedia. Looks like they had a pole in the middle there, maybe for um, free electricity. It's at least 20, probably 40 foot. Look at the height of those trees. Forts, like I am. It's wonderful. This is a beautiful one. If anyone knows what it's called in the comments, please leave it in the description and I'll jump on Wikipedia and add it on the page and give it a name. A lovely lighthouse here. I do a series on Lighthouse as well, I think they're fantastic. Is this a Lighthouse Beacon? Yeah, look at that. What do you guys think? Is that an old fort or a lighthouse? Or both? Let me know. Strange car park, I suppose. Whatever tickles your fancy. I just think that I thought they like that. Oh, another one of these running tracks. I just don't get these running tracks. This fountain it looks beautiful. I'm trying to find the names of these places, but nothing's popping up. Look at the towers on that. The uh, Mobile phone towers, monstrous. Okay, so I'm out of Google for now because every time I'm clicking on an area, I'm seeing to notice places. Yeah. Um, try not to play into the hype of the flu. Don't, um, the place we're just oh, Quentin Tarantino got his name from. Tar is it Tarantino? Is that the way to say it? I'm not sure. what we were looking at, and we found several forts in the area. This is why I'm loving the Seven Wonders of the World series, because I'm finding forts that I'm not finding on Wikipedia. It seems to be, um, on Wikipedia, it seems to be only areas, you know, where are really popular have gone on to this other website. I believe named Colin, I think his last name. It actually has a lot of forms that aren't mentioned on Wikipedia as well. So let's go. So we've done this before. So construction began in 292 BC. Ancient accounts will differ. differ. 
to some degree describe the structure as being built with iron tie bars to which brass plates were fixed to from the skin the interior of the structure which stood on 15 meter high 49 foot white man, man marble pedestal near the mandrake harbour entrance and then was filled with stone blocks as the construction progressed other sources place the colossus of the breakwater in the harbour according to the most contemporary descriptions the statue itself was about 70 cubits or here we go there's that number again 33 meters and remaining feet tall much of the iron and bronze was re reforged from various weapons of Demetri's army left behind and abandoned siege tower may have been used for scaffolding around the lower levels during construction other portions were built with the use of large earthen ramp during the building workers would pile mounds of earth on each side of the Colossus upon completion of all the earth was removed and the Colossus was left alone, left to stand alone. After 12 years in 280 BC, the statue was completed, preserved in Greek anthologies of poetry, is what is believed to be the genuine dedication text for the Colossus. To you, O son, the people of Dorian Road set up the bronze statue, reaching to Olympus, when they had pacified the waves of war and crowned their city with the spoils taken from the enemy, not only overly by the seas, over the seas, but also on land, did they kindle the lovely torch of freedom and independence. For to the descendants of Hercules belongs dominion over the sea and land. Modern engineers have put forward a plausible hypothesis for the statue's construction, based on technology of time, which was not based on modern principles, earthquake engineering. And accounts of Philo and Pliny, who saw the describe and described the ruins. The base test pedestal was said to be at least 18 metres or 59 feet in diameter, and either circular or octangular, it's probably octangular. The feet were carved in stone and were covered with thin bronze plates riveted together, each iron, each board iron bars set in rendering radiating horizontal position formed on the ankles turned up to follow the lines of the legs which becoming progressively smaller individually cast curved bronze plates 60 inches or 1500 mil square with turned in edges were joined by the by other rivets through holes formed during the casting to form a series of rings the lower plates were one each 25 mil in thickness to the knee and three quarter of an inch 20 mil thick from the knee to the abdomen while the upper plates were one quarter of an inch and half an inch 6.5 and 12.5 millimeters thick except for where additional strength was required such joints such as the shoulder neck etc the statue stood for 50 years until Rhodes was hit 226 bc earthquake significant damage was also done to large portions of the city including the harbor and commercial buildings which were destroyed the statue snapped at the knees and fell over onto the land Ultimate three offered to pay for the reconstruction of the statue, but the Oracle of Delphi made the Rohagians afraid that they had offended the Helios and they declined to rebuild it. The remains lay on the ground as described by Strabo for over 800 years and even broken. They were so impressive that many travellers travelled to see them. Pliny the Elder remarked that few people could wrap their arms around the fallen thumb of each of its fingers, as well as larger than most statues. In 653, an Arab force under the Muslim Caliph Rua captured Rhodes, and according to the chronicle of Theosophines, the confessor, the statue was melted down and sold to Jewish merchant Edisa, who loaded the bronze onto 900 camels. The Arab's destruction and the purported sale to a Jew purposely originated as a powerful metaphor for Nebuchadnezzar's dream of the destruction of the great statue. Some of the stories recorded by Bar Herbus writing in Syriac in the 13th century in Isida, after the Arab pilgrimage of Rome, and the great number of men hoiled on strong ropes, which were led, tied around the brass colossus, colossus, which was in the city and pulled down, and they weighed it from 3,000 loads of Corinthian brass and, brass, and they sold it to a certain Jew from Eason, the Syrian city of Homs. Theophanes, that is the sole source of the account and all other sources can be traced to him. Posture. The harbour straddling Colossus was a fragment of medium, medieval imaginations based on the dedication text mentioned over land and sea twice in the writings of an Italian visitor who in 1395 noted that local tradition held the right, the right foot and stood where the church of St. John of the Colossus was then located. Many later illustrations showed the statue 
with one foot on either side and a harbour mouth with ships passing under it, referencing to the concepts. Conception were also found in literary works, Shakespeare, Callistus in Julius Caesar's, um, say of Caesar, why man, both, why man, he doth bestride the narrow world, world like a colossus, and we petty man walk under his huge legs and peep about to find ourselves dishonourable graves. Shakespeare, Shakespeare alludes to the Colossus in the Taurus of Cressa in Henry this one part. The New Colossus, 1883, a sonnet by Emma Lazarus, was written on a cast bronze plaque and mounted inside the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty in 1903, contrasts with the later with the brazen giant of Greek fame with conquering limbs astride from land to land. Okay, so part of this this structure was placed inside the Statue of Liberty. There you go, we learned something else. These faceful images feed the misconception the merchants of the situation revealed that the Colossal could have not straddled the harbour as described in Lehmann's Classical Dictionary. If the completed statue had straddled the harbour, the, harbour, the entire mouth of the harbour would have been effectively closed during the entirety of its construction, and the ancient ancient Rohegians did not have the means to dredge and reopen the harbour after its construction. Also, the fallen statue would have locked the harbour, and since the ancient Rohegians did not have the ability to remove so the fallen statue from the harbour, it would have remained visible on land for the next 800 years, as discussed above. Even neglecting these objections, the statue was made of bronze, and engineering analysis indicate that it could have been built with its legs apart without collapsing under its own um, weight. Many researchers considered alternative positions for the statue which have made it more feasible for actual construction by the ancients. There is also no evidence that the statue held a torch aloft, though the records simply say that after completion the Rohesians kindled the torch of freedom. A relief in a nearby temple shows Helios standing with one hand shielding his eyes. Similar to the way a person shields their eyes when looking towards the sun, it's quite possible that the Colossus was constructed in the same poise. While scholars did not know what the statue looked like, they do have a good idea what the head and the face looked like, as it was a standard rendering of at the time. The head would have curly hair with evenly spaced spikes of bronze or silver fame radiating, similar to the images found on previous vacations. When the scholars generally agree that anecdotal deceptions of the Colossus straddling the harbour's entry point have no historical scientific basis, the monument's actual location remains a matter of debate. The floor of the fortress of St. Nicholas, aha, there's the name of St. Nicholas. Near the harbour entrance contains a circle of sandstone blocks unknown origin purpose. Carved blocks of marble that were incorporated into the fortress structure, but are considered too intricately cut to have been quarried for that purpose must have been positioned as remnants at the marble base of the colossal, which would have stood on the sandstone block foundation. Arch archaeologist Ursula Veda postulates that the colossus was not located in the harbour area at all, but rather was part of the Acropolis of Rhodes, which stood on the hill that overlooks the port area, the ruins of a large temple traditionally thought to have been dedicated to Apollo, are situated at the highest point of the hill. Veda believes this structure would actually have been Helios' sanctuary and a portion of its enormous stone foundation can, could have served as a supporting platform for the Colossus. Okay, so they used that one to make the other one. Okay. Lone Colossus, so, yeah, Lone Colossus. Okay, so if you're still here, I would like to say thank you very much. I appreciate it and I hope you stick with me as we look through the seven wonders of the ancient world. And we'll just have a look at the photos before we go. I pretty much am inclined to think that we probably would have sat near St. Nicholas by the sounds of it. Um, this is the destruction of 60 years. So I don't think it would have sat there. I think it actually would have sat out in the harbour. I'm not sure. I don't know. I just think it's amazing that they could build something back in the day like that, you know, left over from the spoils of war to make, you know, something like this. It's just unreal. So this is where I think it would have been, right here. And they would have had that to protect the statue. They would have fired upon any ship's entry. 
so this is probably the, where they got the um, foundation for the statue. This was a, a temple um, dedicated to um, Polio. Apollo. Okay, so thank you everyone once again. I appreciate that. Hit that like. I don't care if you subscribe, but I appreciate all my subscribers and I hope you have a good day, evening or night. Goodbye. Thank you.